Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well today. So today we'll be exploring a topic that's been making headlines recently, the human meta pneumovirus or HMPV. You might have heard about this recent outbreak in China and naturally there's been some concern and curiosity about what this virus is and whether it could become the next big public health crisis. So today we are going to break it all down. What HMPV is, we'll also talk about how this fits into the larger picture of global health preparedness. First, let's set the stage. In recent weeks, China has reported a notable surge in respiratory infections and a significant portion of these cases have been linked to HMPV. This has raised concerns because it's happening alongside a possible resurgence of COVID-19 in some areas. Now, there's no official declaration of state of emergency, but the spike in cases has prompted public health officials to pay close attention. Alright, so what exactly is HMPV? Well, it's a respiratory virus that was first discovered in 2001. It belongs to the same family of virus as RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, and it primarily affects the respiratory tract. The symptoms can range from mild to severe. For most people, it might just feel like a common cold with cough, fever, and stuffy nose. But for certain groups like young children, older adults, or anyone with a weakened immune system, it can cause more serious issues like difficulty breathing or even wheezing. The virus spreads in pretty much the same way as other respiratory virus through droplets when someone coughs or sneezes or by touching contaminated surface or through close contact with someone who is infected. And while this all sounds little familiar, right? Like what we knew about flu or even the COVID pandemic. It's important to recognize that each virus has its own cues. So what causes these outbreaks and why now? Human meta pneumovirus is most active in colder months. So it's not surprising to see a spike during winter. The virus thrives in crowded spaces and poorly ventilated areas. And as always, those most at risk are individuals with compromised immunity, like the very young, the elderly, or the people with chronic illness. That's why monitoring these outbreaks is crucial, especially when multiple virus like COVID-19 and flu are circulating at the same time. It's a reminder of how interconnected our health systems are. Currently, there's no specific antiviral medication for HMPV, which means treatment is mostly supportive. But prevention, that's where we have more control. Simple habits like washing your hands regularly, covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze, and staying home when you're sick can go a long way. So what does this all mean for a bigger picture? Well, if there's one thing we have learned from COVID-19 pandemic, it's the importance of early detection and global cooperation. Right now, the World Health Organization and other health bodies are monitoring the situation closely. And while HMPV is not a new virus, this outbreak is a reminder that respiratory illness can still catch us off guard. For us, the key takeaway is stay informed, practice good hygiene, and remember that public health is a shared responsibility. We all have a role in playing, keeping ourselves and our communities safe. Thank you.